So you're a cheerleader, right? Or you used to be. That's awesome, and I feel like that will help us. Okay, so like, imagine if, uh, okay, you're making a human pyramid, and everyone has super good technique, but only half of the people who are normally in the pyramid show up. So in that case, it doesn't matter how good everyone's technique is, how much you trust everyone there, how strong your core is, blah, 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 blah. You're never going to be able to make a perfect or even good pyramid if there aren't enough, um, so it's the same with what we eat, right? Like, no matter how good the foods are that we are putting into our bodies, if there aren't enough of them all together, you can look or present yourself a certain way that sounds ideal aesthetically, but you can't really form a strong, solid foundation to build a healthy person. If you're only eating uh, carrots, you're shaky on the bottom of your pyramid because spotter black beans and other supporters like, um... Um, corn? Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, corn. Um, y you're gonna... You might look good to the outside world, but it's always going to be on the verge of collapse. It, it might, um, you know, the analogy breaks down, but, uh, yeah. yeah. Was that good? I, I don't know. Um, you know what? Like, like, honestly, that analogy just isn't helpful right at all. I feel like I can't in good conscience give you that clinical opinion and then just pity you in my mind because I know. I know I'm not being truthful. Like, like not to be harsh, but I feel like if you're paying me, I should be honest with you. Um, as your dietitian, I am telling you that you are just honestly really fat. And like that's not necessarily a bad thing at all. Don't get me wrong, being fat is not bad. It just, you being fat is bad. Because it's your job not to be. Well, not actually, but it's your job to help other people feel good. And how can they trust you to do that if, if you look, if you look like that? Like, like this. degrees and knowing exactly what is wrong with with how I'm thinking and knowing never to talk to patients like you would talk to yourself but it's 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 still it's still sometimes I think that if if I just balance just right or change the bases or rethink the the positions I can I can try hard enough that the pyramid doesn't collapse it's just such a little skeleton though isn't it no substance there's there's nothing strong to tie it down no muscles to help it move it's it's threadbare, the way I feel, the way I am. The thinnest wind of change could topple me over. Maybe it will. Is it wrong that I kind of hope so?